Uh, hey guys, um, friends of mine have asked me to kind of put together a brief video about uh, my Plex server. So here we go. Um, I took the top off of it already just to kind of make things easy. It is up and running right now. As you can see, it's relatively quiet. Um, it's not screaming like some of my other gear in the rack loves to do. But um, yeah, it works. Uh, this is a Rosewill 4U case. Uh, and they have this uh, sliding rails that <clears throat> don't look like they're built for 4U, for but, you know, things not that heavy anyway. It's not, you know, super deep either, but it has plenty of space in it. Um, these uh, drive bays up in the front, sorry, let me push this back. Uh, they do kind of like just slide in and out, but they, they stay in really snug. So no, uh, sorry. No uh, <clears throat> no worries about drives going crazy on you or slipping out or anything like that. This one's actually disconnected. These are all populated over here with you know, movies and backups and other drives and stuff like that. Um, one of the things that I do is as I'm upgrading my drives, I have a disk shelf down here. And if a drive, um, if a drive gets the, the health rating on it gets too low, I use a program called Drive Sentinel. Um, and it, it's really super basic. I don't even use the paid version or anything like that, but it does tell you like what the health of the drive is um, based on the smart data. And if the drive starts to fail or has any issues um, for anything other than uh, read write errors, um, I'll pull the drive, well, move the data off of it, pull the drive, put it down there in the disk shelf and it will become quote unquote cold storage. Um, that those discs aren't spinning all the time that's not even powered on right now uh, if, and if i did we wouldn't be able to talk uh that has triple power supplies on this thing and they're just they're not very efficient and they're very loud um so i'm probably just going to get like a like a thousand watt um uh you know power supply and and just swap that out and a thousand watts can run all the discs there especially because they're just regular sata discs and they are connected to Unraid, which is down there uh, in the Silverstone box. That's my Unraid. There's eight drives in there as well. But it uh, runs Unraid, and I have Unraid configured to kind of spin down drives when they're not being used. Um, but the disk shelf is off entirely right now, but the Unraid server is actually running. But it's super quiet, and it's great. I love that thing. I love Unraid. Um, it's great. Anyways, back to the Plex. So... Right now I have a total of probably just over 30 terabytes of storage um, spread across disks. You'll see one of the things I did was I took, you know, movies one, movies two. So I don't let the primary disk or the first disk get over 80% only because you start to see some degradation there in performance and things like that. And, and uh, I mean, for SATA, it's probably not even noticeable or anything, but... Uh, it's just a general rule I do, kind of like, you know, you never let your gas tank go below a quarter of a tank in the car, so you always have gas, right? So, same type of deal, teal, right? I um, uh, took the top off already just to kind of make it easy. I think I mentioned that, but um, let's see. This is a uh, gaming 970 AMD-based board. Um, I don't remember what processor is in there. Um, I believe it's 8-core but I can't tell you what speed it is. I, I honestly don't remember. Uh, it's been a long time. This board has PCI slots on it. Not PCI Express, but PCI. It's got two of them uh, over there. And um, I'm using the two full-size PCI Express lanes, but then all I have left is the 1X. And the reason why I don't have this other drives connected is because I had a, a little USB, not a USB, a little um, uh, SATA, controller and it just kind of crapped out on me started giving me all kinds of problems got in the way of windows booting so i just ejected it um <coughs> right now the way i run it is this is actually an hba um and it uh it has four external plugs so you'll notice there's no plugs going internal uh it has four external which go to this cable here which comes right back in and then goes to these middle bays right here um, the, the middle, middle section is belongs to that one. 
Uh, and then these others are just right off the board, um, as you can see there. I do use these thin uh, cables from, uh, I'm not sure what company makes them, but I bought them in bulk a long time ago and I exclusively use them. Um, they make cable management really easy. Um, they're a little fragile. You gotta be kind of careful about how hard you make right angles on them and stuff like that. But um, the rock solid, great cables, love them. Um, these are custom made you know, uh, power cables that go to the uh, Seasonic. It's a uh, 860 watt, um, love this thing. Uh, I think right now, let me see. Uh, yeah, someone's probably watching something right now, and like the fan's not even on. Um, it's in hybrid mode too, so like the fan only really comes on when it needs to, but um, <clears throat> it does great. It does great. I love this thing. Uh, video card I have in here is a Quadro K2200. Um, people are always like, oh, the P1000, P2000, this, that, and the other right um you can do 4k video i don't even do 4k no one that on none of my video is 4k so um why go through all the expense of buying that video card i think i picked this one up from a, a client's computer that uh upgraded it and didn't need it anymore or maybe they were tossing the whole computer and i just grabbed it out of there i don't remember um I got 64 gigs of RAM um, using RAM disk for the transcoding as well, so I don't uh, eat up um, SSDs. I have probably about a dozen invites to my server, to my Plex server from friends and family, remote people, um, stuff like that, um, and even international. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, it there's usually somebody on it 75% of the time um, or, you know, during the evenings and weekends, especially um, I, uh, I, you know, I like to keep them, keep things up to date and stuff like that. And typically what I'll do is if I have a series that I'm watching, I'll actually back up <laughs> the series and um, uh, actually I'll, I won't watch it off streaming media. I'll just watch it straight off my Plex, even for the very first time. Um, I have a lot of the services and stuff like that, but um, don't really use them a whole lot um, because I can just get exactly what I want. I don't have to go and, you know, it's more of a curated experience for me anyway. I can, and I enjoy it, so. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I have done, I have tested the hardware transcoding on that particular uh, video card, and I've been able to do... Uh, well, it was every device that I had, including my phone, all the computers in the house, and a couple other computers and stuff like that. And uh, I was, I could, I got up to like seven streams and I actually ran out of devices. So, um, like I said, there's, there's usually not more than one, two, sometimes three people on the thing at the same time. And uh, it does great. Um, it does great, you know, as long as your upload speed is pretty decent. Um, my users have to go through some extra steps, but I've made it as easy as possible in order for them to get onto my network to be able to use my Plex. Uh, I had to set up TLS tunneling. Uh, I am on carrier grade NAT uh, through Starlink. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, I, I kind of enjoy the anonymity that the extra layer of ob obfuscation that that carrier grade NAT offers as well. Um, you know, not that I do anything you know, crazy, but anyways, that's the basically the Plex server there. Um, I'll kind of show you here. I'll show you. Um, let me uh, go into Plex. Um, yeah, this Plex. So. Yeah, this is my Plex server here. Um, we got 2,174 movies, 193 TV shows, 
I did, I saw a thing, uh, I have this twaddly, towdly, I can't, I don't know how to say it, but, um, it has a thing in here, let me see if I can find it, uh, it has a thing where you can, let me get out of here, um, it has a thing where you can, where the hell is that, home, I gotta go home, it'll tell you, like, some media library stats, yeah, here it is, so 2174 movies, 193 television shows. Look at the total episodes. Total episodes. Can you guys see that? 9,989. I might download just some more just to hit that 10. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of media on there. Um, everything is either 720 or 1080. Um, and uh, yeah, it is what it is, folks. Um, if you have any questions or need any information, um, feel free to ask. I uh, I kind of do this for a living, so um, you know, it's, uh, it's but it's a work as well as passion. So I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, yeah, let me know. Thanks. Bye.